talked in general about the six categories of Tara and just in terms of understanding and approaching the iconography and the images that we find in art. Now, specifically for the white Tara, white Tara has really three categories. It has uh, the Tara of Long Life, Wish Fulfilling Wheel, the 21 Taras, and the two main, the two main systems of Surya Gupta and Atisha, and then the various white Taras that appear in those two groupings. And then we have miscellaneous forms of Tara. So we have Tara of Long Life, 21 Taras, and then miscellaneous forms. So the white Tara of Long Life is a uh, is a little bit complicated because it comes into Tibet through a number of different uh, teachers, uh, Indian and Tibetan. Um, the main teachers are really, uh, we can say, are, are uh, Atisha and uh, Bari Lhotsawa, but then we have Nyen Lhotsawa, uh, we have Vanaratna, and then we have, slightly later, we have Shakyashri Bhadra. So, with these systems, uh, they're all long life, and uh, what's happened over the centuries also from a practice point of view is some traditions ha have bundled some of these independent uh, lineages of the Atisha, the Bari, the Nyen, and, and taken some of the best aspects of uh, each of the practices and put them together into one practice. So, so there, there's a lot of, of borrowing that appears to have gone on over the last thousand years with the, the um, Tara of long life. Now, the 21 Taras, we, we have the two main systems, Surya Gupta and Atisha. Uh, within the Surya Gupta, we have six or seven of the Taras, um, some with multiple faces or arms and uh, they are not necessarily long life. They, they, they have other functions, other activities that they perform, uh, but they are, nonetheless, they are white Taras. In the Atisha system, we also have uh, uh, six or seven white forms of Tara, again, with their own activities. And of course, the, the Surya Gupta and the Atisha are both based on the same text. Uh, so. The, the activities and the names are, are very similar. The miscellaneous forms of white Tara. Now, these come out of all sorts of different traditions and different Tantra texts. We can even find them in the Vajra Panjara Tantra. We can find them in the uh, Siddhaya Kavira Tantra. Um, Vajra Panjara is a fourth level Tantra, Siddhaya Kavira is a first or second, depend on what Tibetan religious tradition you follow. Not all Tantras are all uh, categorized the same according to the four uh, level structure, so we just have to be mindful of that. So within within the miscellaneous we have a lot of, of, uh, uh, of forms, but they do not appear in art all that commonly. The main forms of white tar that we see, by and large, is the wish-fulfilling wheel. It's really the, the, the long-life form of Tara. And, and this is quite famous for the seven eyes that are on the body. But not all white, white one-faced, two-armed forms of white Tara have seven eyes. Uh, there are a number that do not. So, so the long-life Tara is, is the dominant Tara that we see in art, both painting and sculpture. Then the 21 Taras, of course, we see them often painted as groups or made as a group of sculpture. With the sculpture, we can't really easily recognize the, the uh, color and, and identify individual uh, Taras. It's very difficult. Uh, the miscellaneous forms only really appear in compendium paintings where they're they're paintings that are inclusive. They're including uh, the deities of different compendium systems, systems of deity practices such as the Bari Gyatsa, the Patsab Gyatsa, Sadhana Mala, uh, the Rinjung uh, Gyatsa, Rinjung Lentop of the Pension Lama. So, so it's very rare to find uh, a lot of these miscellaneous forms outside of a greater context of just showing a multitude of different forms of uh, deities coming out of India. So it's just an overview of uh, White Tara.